Welcome back to Studio 10, everybody. Now, you probably well know you can find plenty of dysfunctional families on reality tele television shows. It can be a challenge to find true family entertainment anywhere else. It was one man's dream to create a TV show suitable for the entire family. Les McDowell is the creator and star of the television series Dry Creek. He turned his parish Florida property into an authentic town of the late 1800s. Then he brought in real cowboys, Indians, and horses to give Dry Creek the proper touches for a realistic TV show. Roxanne Wilder visited the set during filming of a recent episode. None of us are old enough to remember the simpler days of the late 1800s when people commuted on horseback when eggs were 10 cents a dozen, and when people spoke their mind and kept their word. In Parrish, Florida, on the set of Dry Creek, the camera's lens is a window to the past. Dry Creek is one man's recreation of these simpler times. Welcome to Dry Creek. This is, uh, you're back in 1882 right now, and old Florida, really the way it was, and uh, America's first frontier. Growing up in Southern California, Les McDowell got his first glimpse of the Western lifestyle, not on a dude ranch, but rather through Hollywood. I hung around a lot of movie sets and I always wanted to do that. And I was hanging around with stunt men and stuff like that. And that's how I learned to rope and drive stagecoach. Two and a half years ago, this land was bare. And McDowell began, step by step, building his dream set. Long before there was a 7-Eleven, of course, they had the general store. It just came together uh, almost overnight that people started following it and bringing wood and, and people started donating their time that believed in family programming and what Dry Creek stands for. The charm of Dry Creek is in its authenticity, props that reflect the era and actors who know the ropes and more specifically how to rope. Les only picks up most of the people that's been around horses, work with cattle, and so we really, we do our own stunts and uh, we don't need most of the stunt people that we do on our shows. While it's the old time details that make Dry Creek special, the show's popularity is increasing via modern day technology. My Facebook went from 150 people and went to 5,000 just overnight and they started following the dream of Dry Creek. The scenes shot today are part of the episode called Reap What You Sow. In today's world, there's no such thing as bad people. They're just people that do things that are wrong. And Dry Creek has a whole different philosophy. It just gets down to common sense and, and taking old-fashioned values and uh, putting them to modern-day problems we all have. Yes, sir. I've got a saying that says everybody knows where Dry Creek is because it's inside of each and every one of us. What really makes my heart melt is when people say that, you know something, um, we've waited a long time in Hollywood and hadn't, hadn't given us family programming. Uh, the Waltons are still playing today. Look how uh, popular Andy Griffith was. And, and Hollywood's not doing that. I've got emails and they say we're, we're sitting down with popcorn and watching TV again and watching Dry Creek. It makes me feel good. In a 30-minute episode of Dry Creek, a lesson will be learned. There will be laughter and possibly some tears and a ride into the sunset. You know, we were just talking while that was playing. I'm impressed that, so he's married. Les yes, is married, he right? Is. That he and his wife even, like his wife basically agreed to let him do this. You know, I've got this property, honey. I'm going to turn it into cowboy town and make a TV show. <laughs> How many spouses would, would even go in with it that? It might seem preposterous when you put it like that, but she believed in the dream. And she's actually in the program herself, too. She is. She's one of the actresses, yes. Now, the, I'm trying to wrap my head around this. He brought in cowboys and, mm -hmm. and the, the whole cowboy and Indian type thing. Is it? meant to be is it a scripted drama is it like yes. how does it work he he writes all the scripts it's you know it's his baby he started because he did cowboy poetry mm -hmm. and that gained popularity on the internet and he said i'm going to turn this into scripts that he puts together you know they have they have the authentic characters and they're the 30 minute episodes and and it's all les mcdowell's dream and vision and that filling that void of the family program so it's called uh, dry creek and again they've done how many episodes are they signed on they're, for a second season they're in their second season they are right in now. the second mm -hmm. season wow. and the cool thing too is of course you know, small budget, Les is financing it all himself from the beginning and getting help and donations, but now they're up for the Cable Facts Awards, which are this weekend. So, uh, among the other, the big fish. The Cable Facts Awards? That in New York City. Wow. Yes. That's no. too cool.